What's going on guys and welcome back to the NMAR Central. So um, as you guys know, I recently bought this 2000D. This thing is an absolute unit, but one of the issues we had here was it's got a flat tire. So as you guys can see, it's jacked up. Um, I don't want to destroy the tire any more than I have to. Um, as you guys can see, it's flooding out. So anyways, today we're going to be putting a tube in this tire and even if it's a temporary fix, um, which I think these tires will last a while. They're pretty good quality Firestone tires. So they got a little bit of dry rot, but I mean, let's be honest, this thing's a tractor. It's not gonna go more than probably 10 or 15 miles an hour ever. So even if this was to blow out, it really wouldn't be that big of a deal. So anyways, today we're gonna be putting a tube in this thing so we can get it off the trailer and get our truck and trailer freed up. All right, guys, so um, I do have a tire machine, but uh, recently got this guy. Uh, hopefully you guys can see this. This is uh, a tire, a, a manual bead breaking kind of tire machine that we have here. So hopefully I'm saying that correctly, but uh, I've uh, gained an appreciation for some of these old school hand tools and it's kind of nice, the simplicity. You don't have to get the air compressor out, fire it up to pump up the tire machine or any of that stuff. This thing just works on good old manpower. And normally stuff comes apart pretty easy. So that's another plus with this thing. Of course, it may make a liar out of me. There we go. Simple as that on so i guess we do need to break the back feed as well but that's not a big deal with this thing around okay. very simple very easy so I am going to throw the wheel and tire back on here. Um, if you guys don't know, this is a, a great way. This is a great way to, uh, to take a tire off of a, a rim um, is by simply mounting it back up to the axle or um, truck or tractor or whatever it came off of. Um, Trust me, if you try this, it'll make things so much easier. So we've got it off and I've already found the hole here. Um, you can see it's leaking from this green dot. This tube has slime in it and that's some of the slime that's leaking out. So um, what we're gonna do is patch this up, save it for later. But for now, we have a, a brand new tube that we're gonna put in here. So didn't end up having a tube laying around. I thought we did. So we ended up patching the old tube that came out of this wasn't that big of a deal i found three holes all were pretty small um, but as you guys know you can't see really well so it's time for some time period appropriate lighting so we have our coleman out here coleman lantern from the 60s and 70s i can't remember exactly what year this one is but uh it's a good one here. Wow. Okay. Well, I guess the valve got left on. So that's good. <laughs> oh, buddy. 
Well, not much we can do about that. <laughs> this would happen while I'm trying to film a video. Round two, anyone? Okay, there we go. So that's how it's supposed to go. Now we can get back to the task at hand. Just in case you guys are curious, this is our patchwork right here and it should work just fine. So now we'll put a little air in the tube. Just a little bit, not too much. All right, well, I think we're gonna call that a success. Only time will tell if we made any punctures. As you guys can see, we had to use the screwdrivers a little bit, but uh, if you're careful with these, it makes it a lot easier to get these tires on because these are really stiff old tires and sometimes you have to take it just bit by bit, a little at a time. So just be careful if you're using these. But that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed what you watched, don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And check out those videos in the description box below. There's going to be more videos like this linked down there. And we'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace.